my friends. Welcome to this coding tutorial where I'm going to show you a simple program to code your guitar to be able to play it effectively. Thinking of your Guitar Hero type project if you ever played Guitar Hero back in the day. Maybe I'm dating myself. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to scroll down past those basic robots that come with the kit. We're going to go here to click to on create new project. We're going to make sure it's on word blocks. This here then is going to give us a new screen. And we actually don't need this default block for this code. So we're going to just take this, we're going to drag it over here, and it just deletes it out. This program is really simple in the sense that once we create it for one of the colors, we can duplicate it just to go the way we want. So. The nice thing with this is we are going to go through here and we are going to start with some event blocks and we're going to choose the when block and so let's just look at the one that's default we want this one right here and what this is going to allow us to do is put in an operator so this operator we need to use the and so for our guitar, we are waiting for two things to happen. We're waiting for the color sensor to detect a color, and we're waiting for the guitar player to press, in this case, the right button. Now please keep in mind, you can adjust this to your liking if you want a left button or up button. Um, if you want to use something else, you can, but we're going to use the right button on the Intelligent Hub to activate the music notes. So how this works is we need to fill this operator in. And so we're going to go here to the light blue to the sensors because that's what we need to gather our, our inputs so we can have an output of music. And we're going to start here with this color sensor block right here. And we're going to drag that into that first shape. Now we know our color sensor is in port C, so we're going to change that. And I'm just going to have this match my guitar fretboard, so I'm going to make it green. So when the color sensor sees green, and we now need to go here to a button press, which is still in the sensor section, right here. I'm going to get that filled in there. And, okay, I like the right button. Maybe you like the left. That's fine. Now, when we see green and the guitar player presses a button, we need to have a musical note. So how we can go about doing that is we have to have some music. So down here in the bottom left, we have to go to this extension and we have to add music. So we're going to go ahead and add that extension. That is now going to give us a music block section of coding right here. And now we can go ahead and we need to set our instrument. This is where you can have your guitar sound however you would like. I really like the choir. So I'm going to use that one. That's the one that I just prefer over the others. But you can test out all these instruments and change them however you would like. And we need to play a note. And so I've already done some calculations here to figure out the notes and all that good stuff. So we're going to actually make this 64. And I can see here, okay, that tells me that that's an E note, which is what I want. And I'm going to make this play for a half beat. Again, you can change this to your liking as you get going. And what I want to do here is just one more thing. I just want to ensure that my notes are actually working and triggering and kind of just add some cool display here as well. So I'm going to go to the light, the purple coding blocks. I'm going to turn on my LED grid. And I'm just going to put the note in there that I'm expecting to see. So I'm going to put in the letter E. So when we see green and the guy or girl clicks the right button, press my guitar, it's going to set the instrument to choir. It's going to play this note. Let me get my E here fixed. And display the note E on the Intelligent Hub. Now this is what's so great about this feature of right-clicking and choosing duplicate. I can go now right underneath it. I'm going to go to my next color, which is white. That all stays the same. I'm going to keep the, that the same. I could change it. I could have different instrument noises for each, each note if I wanted to. I'm now going to go here, and 
I know that I want it to be 67 for a G note, but you can go ahead and click if you haven't done this before and see the different notes. I know it's that one. I'm going to keep it that, and now I just need to change this to the letter G, which isn't really all that difficult. I'm just changing a few pixels. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to add this right down below. And let me go ahead here and expand this out so you can see this a little bit better. So now we're going to pick yellow. And then we're going to change this note. I want to make it um, an A note. So I think my A note's there. And I got to change this to the letter A. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that again. I have blue here. And I'm just going to change this one now to 71 to a B note. Make this look like B. Let me go ahead and just drag this up here a little bit more so you can see these a little bit better. I realize I'm kind of sitting down here at the bottom. There we go. And I can make that B. And then I've just got one more note. And that's for our red. I choose red. This is the order progression. We're actually going to go back here to a 65, which is an F note. And we're going to just make that F just like that. And now we are in great shape. Now I can go ahead and run this on the IntelliJ Hub. And now when I slide to the color with the color sensor slider and press the right button, you're going to be able to play music. So have fun with this, play around with it, check out the instruments, try different notes, find some tabs online of different songs. You'll see the demo, check out that video at my attempt to play Smoke on the Water, and I would love to hear and see what it is that you develop. All right, my friends, here it is, the coding for the guitar. Take care.